All right, welcome back. This is Kerbal Space Program plus Minecraft, all on the same thing. Uh, so, got some new stuff here. So, the short version is, this is a game of Kerbal Space Program being played on a computer downstairs. This is a live stream of it in Minecraft. Uh, from Minecraft, I can control flight surf, like, attitude adjustments from here. You can see I'm, I'm you know, yawn this thing, let's roll this thing. There we go. I can turn on the throttle right over here. Got some throttle control. And it's working. Okay. RCS toggle. See it there. It's about a one second delay. Uh, SAS. There we go. So we'll turn these guys back on. Cool. Um, also, back here, I got staging. Uh, this is your staging, like hitting spacebar in Minecraft, or <laughs> in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, lights up here, gear, uh, time warp. So you can turn this. You got a time warp going. That's pretty cool. Um, got some stuff about the uh, computer here, and the, the underpinning of this is mostly Computer Craft and Project Red, although you could do all of this stuff in, in just stock Minecraft. Like, there's nothing fancy here. It's just some shortcuts for Redstone. Um, the only thing you can't do in stock Minecraft is this Computer Craft computer is actually sending the inputs from all this stuff into a uh, Kerbal Space Program via HTTP and the Telemachus mod. Um, so, so this is all cool, um, and there's a basically a Twitter conversation where uh, Scott Manley mentioned uh, trying to fly a Mercury Redstone rocket, uh, which is a, a type of rocket um, that was flown in the Mercury program, uh, with a Redstone computer in Minecraft um, sending and receiving data, like getting telemetry data and sending um, uh, commands to the, to the spacecraft. So, uh, this is a very early first first pass at building a guidance computer, and I can't put enough quotes around guidance uh, in Minecraft uh, that actually controls a redstone rocket, uh, which we have here in Kerbal Space Program. Um, and this redstone rocket is actually a, uh, it's a mod called FASA, which includes a lot of, like, old-school um, Apollo and, um, and Mercury rocket parts, amongst, like, a ton of other stuff. So here's our, here's our redstone rocket. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Let's let's uh, go ahead and fire this thing up. However, what we're going to do is the second part of this, which is the quote-unquote guidance computer, which is this thing out here, this monstrosity. And for anybody that's ever done anything with Minecraft and Redstone, please forgive me. Um, so here's what's going on. Basically, right here, uh, this is these are the actual inputs um, into... Um, into Kerbal Space Program. So if you turn this redstone, this redstone, or this one on, uh, basically it will send it into the computer and send those inputs. So from this point forward, like back backwards from here, we are only going to use stock Minecraft redstone. We're not going to use any of the fancy stuff, no computer craft, no, nothing. Just what you could get in the normal game. Uh, so let's, let's talk about what's going on here. Uh, basically we start with a clock source. Um, and I can't put enough quotes around clock. It is a really stupid clock. It just kind of pulses some redstone. The output from the clock goes into this area. This area is the actual guidance computer. And you can see it's very, very simple. It's going to do exactly two things. Um, this is the output from the guidance computer. Basically, it's going to, most of the time, hit the throttle. And then every once in a while, um, it's going to go over here and cause us to pitch up just a tiny bit and then go back to hitting the throttle. <laughs> It's a, it's a very smart computer. Uh, I'm calling it MindJeb, and we're calling this Dumb Sass. Uh, the, the stuff over here, this is actually very simple. This is just the um, turning on the guidance computer. So basically right now it's off, so you can see these inputs are not being received by Kerbal Space Program. Uh, but we can go ahead and turn it on. We will turn on MindJeb, which is now actually controlling Kerbal Space Program, so let's hop back in here and we'll start this flight up and cross our fingers. This has gone badly a couple of times. So, here we go. We're gonna hit the stage button and the computer does the rest. And see, okay, there it throttled down and started... <laughs> this is just terrible. There's, there's no way. Okay, this one's going a bit more stable than the last one. That's pretty good. Uh, let me see if I can switch our view a little bit here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man. Oh, this is just... This is just not gonna go well. Something... Something changed it. Oh, no. 
Uh, abort. Abort. Oh, I don't even know how to abort. I don't have an abort button. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is just... Oh, man. Uh, maybe I can fix it. Hold on. Uh, I'll just stand on the on the throttle up. Or the, uh, the pitch up. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably the end. And there it goes. Well, at least we landed in the water. So you can see our uh, our guidance program's got a little ways to go, but uh, we are indeed controlling uh, Kerbal Space Program from inside of Minecraft here. So uh, I will stay tuned on the next episode. Um, by the way, this is all multiplayer enabled, so we could possibly get some other people in here and start building an actual redstone guidance computer. Uh, and we can actually receive telemetry data from Kerbal Space Program if if we're insane enough to build a redstone computer that can modify uh, to like stick to prograde or something completely insane like that. Um, so the goal would be to fly without SAS turned on inside of Kerbal Space Program. So we'll see if we'll see if we get there. We might not have enough redstone in the universe for it, but uh, we can certainly try. Anyway, until next time. Uh, this is Dom signing off. And...